every single kid came into the office and said, this is my team, this is the culture I've been waiting for, I absolutely love playing with my teammates, I do not want to be on the sidelines, so I'm going to be there with them thick and thin. So that to me says that we're really building what we want to do. Um, so they want to take that experience and, and help the future. And what they do this year is really going to set this program up for years to come. I mean, it could be three, four years down the road when our junior class graduates, and it's the impact that they're making right now that's going to really lay the foundation and the groundwork for future years. I mean, Brooke Wilmis had a tremendous year last year, and I expect more great things out of her. Um, Hattie Moore had an unbelievable year, especially after her freshman season. I'm um, real excited for Kim Wirt after her first year playing in the SEC and, and what she's able to do, and I think Kendall Bailey. Um, and you, you have to obviously talk about Jasmine Rollin. And, and I mean, you have such strong players that were in the starting lineup last year with a whole year underneath their belt, and I'm real excited to, to see what they're able to do this year. How big is, is uh, Kim's confidence after coming over last year? And I mean, it, it's tremendous. She's always had that confidence, but you never really know until you actually experience it. And I think the success that she had um, really in her power numbers showed that she can hit at this level. And now it's just getting a little bit more consistent production out of her. But I mean, she's won because she's played under me for three years now. And she's such a true leader, not only in her ability and her characteristics, but in the familiarity with the coaching staff. What newcomers uh, will need to play right away? In the circle. I mean, right in the circle. We have three outstanding pitchers, but again, they're freshmen. It starts with Eli Daniel. I mean, she's the only one on the staff that really has any experience, and she's done an unbelievable job mentoring our, our younger players. But you have three dynamically different pitchers in Megan Schumacher, who just throws so hard. She's going to be a force, someone that you're going to watch over her entire career. And then you have a lefty with Emma Nichols. So that will be completely different than Schumacher. And then you have Jordan Weber. So you have three freshmen that, that throw very, very well. But I think the team is built so well where you have freshman pitchers with experienced fielders. Um, so it's not like your entire team is brand new. You have such great infielders behind them. So as they go through the bumps and the bruises of, of a season, you know, they have the upperclassmen that, that's going to be able to pick them up. And then uh, we have added uh, Sophie Dandola, who is a transfer that played for me at Hofstra her freshman year. And Sophie's been there, done that. Her freshman year, she beat Florida State and they went on to win the national championship. She was the Colonial Conference um, Player of the Year during the tournament. She went on and threw a perfect game in the NCAA regionals at like 59 pitches and you know something ridiculous. But so she's she's experienced playing at that level and knows exactly what she's capable of doing. And it's that experience that she can help mentor our younger players. How's Kayla Kessinger looking? And how excited are you to have her back in the lineup? Another veteran in it. Yeah, I cannot wait. I mean, she's swinging the bat so well. She's she's been there, done that. It's been over a year since she's actually been on the field. So there's obviously a little pressure from her. I'm expecting to pick up where she left off, but I mean, she's such a tremendous force, and, and I expect great things out of her. And then you have Kara Decker, and you have Emma Robbie, who didn't, she was a key pinch hitter last year. Um, so she's starting, get, getting into that starting role, and, and now we're focusing on every single game will be our College World Series, and, and really competing, and building the culture, and really establishing what they do this year can really set the foundation for future years to come. It's really, you know, anything goes. I mean, we can we can be very, very creative and we got nothing to lose. So it's almost going to be a, a, almost refreshing and really fun at the same time to, to be able to experiment with a lot of different things, but really establishing what this program stands for. 